so when we see the the story unfolding, the story of the God of Israel from the Hebrew scriptures and how it unfolds into this the the apostolic witness also written by by Jews in what we know as the New Testament, we we see the opening of the New Testament, the first pages, the first line in the New Testament is the record of the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of Abraham, the son of David. And so when, when we begin to see that, we, we see this emphasis on this man is the son of Abraham. And if he wasn't the son of Abraham, no matter what he did in his, his life and what he accomplished, he would not be considered to qualify for the fulfillment of God's purposes and plans. Because God's purposes and plans, his, his choice of the seed comes through his choice of Abraham. And so uh, we know that, that Jesus was a son of Abraham. He wasn't uh, ethnically uh, any other uh, group. He, he's not Chinese. He was not, you know, South from South America or African or whatever it is. He's not American. He is from the nation of Israel and the people of Israel. And his life and story is wrapped up in the unfolding of this story of the God of Israel and God's choice in choosing them to be set apart for himself as a conduit of blessing to all the other nations. And so we know, we see very clearly that Jesus uh, as the Messiah is the son of Abraham and the son of David, according to the promise given to David that one would sit on the throne. And so without ethnicity, when we remove ethnicity, we, we over-universalize the witness of the scriptures and we, we begin to, uh, to, to move off of the storyline and the testimony that has been uh, laid out prior to that point.